Royal Enfield have been caught testing their brand new 450cc Himalayan which they're claiming is lighter, more powerful and more dirt capable than the 411. They're also claiming that this is going to be direct competition to the 390 Adventure from KTM. Is that true? Let's find out. So if you've been sleeping behind the wheel recently, you probably haven't noticed that Royal Enfield have been making leaps and bounds in the motorcycle industry and been hitting it out of the park, particularly with their 650 twins, but a special mention to their little cult classic, the Himalayan 411. But it looks like Royal Enfield are bringing out a brand new 450cc Himalayan that is a complete departure from the 411. Apparently it's a completely new motorcycle from Royal Enfield. And what you need to keep in mind that this is all derived from spy shots and rumors. Keep that in mind when we're talking about this bike. So it's a 450cc single liquid cooled, which is a first for Royal Enfield, which is very exciting. The claim power figures are 40 horsepower and 45 newton meters of torque. I don't know about you, but when we're talking about unicorn status <laughs> for a small displacement adventure bike, that's bang on the figures that you want. Just enough power to sit on the highway comfortably and haul your luggage, but do all the crazy stuff off road. But it's also got 45 newton meters of torque, which will give it tractor factor status as well. The other big deal is a new frame. K one frame it is called by Royal Enfield so it looks like this bike is a complete departure which means Royal Enfield are free to really make this bike more off-road capable which is exciting. We can see in the spy shots that it has a digital display which is supposed to be including everything in that single display as well as having full smartphone connectivity and it's expected to be a TFT screen. It's got shower USD forks with a monoshock rear it remains to be seen how much travel it has and how much ground clearance the bike has. Of of course, we can see from the spy shots as well that it has spoke wheels with a 21 inch front and a 17 inch rear. And we can see from another spy shot where a poor guy who was testing the bike was in an accident in India. I hope you're okay, mate. But what it did reveal from that accident is that these are tubed tires, which will disappoint some, but it'll make others happy. The bike is rumored to be released as early as September 2023 in India. So we'll be able to get the specifications pretty damn soon. Also rumored that the West won't see the bike until 2024. The last little tidbit we can see from the spy shots as well as you get a little bash plate underneath which is nice it doesn't look like a substantial bash plate but when you think about some of these big flagship adventure bikes not coming with one standard you have to pay extra off the accessory list it's certainly a nice little thing to have It's believed that this bike has been designed to go head on with the 390 Adventure. Royal Anfield are claiming that this bike will be lighter, have longer travel suspension, better clearance and be more off-road capable than the 411. Royal Anfield will likely be framing this bike as their really off-road capable adventure bike. If it does end up being true, then this really will be a competitor to the 390 Adventure. Particularly when it has more power, it has that 21 inch front wheel which the 390 doesn't have. It will also be extremely good value you because rumor is that this will only be USD 1000 more than the Himalayan 411. So this will be very competitively priced. It'll have the 21 inch wheel advantage as well as the power advantage. The clearance will also be really important. I think I would like this to have more clearance than the 390 has and more travel on the suspension as well because that really would give it a selling point over the 390. If it's more dirt capable, which it's looking like it is going to be over the 390, they will sell like hotcakes. Even if if it's comparable I think this bike will do very very well. I'm quite excited to see the full specifications from Royal Anfield and what they confirm about this bike. Are you excited about this bike with the figures it's got it potentially could get the unicorn stamp so it is a big deal. I'd love to know your thoughts so chuck them down below and as always guys don't forget to stay shiny side up and I'll see you in the next one.